Shabbat Shalom, dear friends. Shabbat Shalom. Rabbi Ilya Salo Schoenberg here from the Vey Shalom in Metuchen, New Jersey. Today is Friday, Rosh Chodesh, July 29th. We're reading Parshat Matot Masei, concluding the biblical book of Numbers. And in this Parsha, there's one incident I'd like to take note of, and that Moses gets angry. People have gathered together to fight against Midian, and Moses doesn't like the way they carry it out. They don't carry it out the way he had asked them to do so, and he gets angry. So Moses does get angry several times in the Torah. This led one Hasidic rabbi, Rabbi Mordechai of Lublin, to tell us the following story. He wanted a small tzitzit, what's called tzitzit katan, not the kind of big talit we wear on Shabbat and Yom Tov, but a small one that you put over your head and you put on under your shirt. But it does have the tzitzit. And he wanted some particularly beautiful weaving that came from Eretz Yisrael. And he had been trying to acquire it. And it finally came. And he was very excited. And he gave it to one of his students to cut a hole in the middle of the material so he could put it over his head and he could make it into a talit katan. He gave it to the student. The student cut the hole but he folded it incorrectly. And because of that, he cut not one hole, but two holes in the material. And he became terribly afraid and nervous and was trembling when he came back to the Rebbe. He gave it to the Rebbe. And the Rebbe looked at it, opened up the material and saw that were two holes, really not what he had expected. But he didn't get angry. And he looked at the student and said, thank you, thank you. I really wanted a talit with talit katan with two holes. One so that I could put it on and wear it. And one that would be a test for me and test me that I can turn my anger into compassion. And so he taught, when you look at the talit katan, when you look at the tzitzit, you are to be reminded not only of God's mitzvot, but also how to turn anger into compassion. Shabbat shalom, friends. Shabbat shalom.